what is happening to our plumbing if we got this thing going on here. So here's one thing I can say for sure. This, if we think this isn't also affecting what our internal organs and where they're being squished, no, that's a certainty. It's absolutely affecting them. It's not in an optimal position. The interesting thing is that when we give people their own structural homework that they learn from us to balance out their system, all of a sudden they absolutely notice a massive difference, optimization of the plumbing. So now, in order to entertain and amuse, I'm going to give you an extra visual for that. So here's that visual. So you, right, you can see the fascial trains, you can imagine the fascia suit. Well, how about those organs right there, right? So I want you to imagine, right, we've seen what happens to Aaron when I squeeze him over on the right. We're both going to give ourselves a myofascial restriction on the right. Yes? So does that look like my plumbing here, I mean, it's not quite like this, but it is, it's being squished. Is optimal running optimally the way it's designed? No, we're not designed like this. If we free up the fascia restriction, like, oh my God, that's a lot better. Now, the interesting thing that we've also found, the correlation is that the clients that told us that it got better had specifically a myofascial restriction on the right side. So Anna and I are gonna show you. And guess what? The ascending colon is on the right. That is where, to be literal, your poop has to go uphill. So if someone is like this, standing, seating, sleeping, sitting on the toilet, do we think that things are gonna go very well here? However, if we optimize that and free that up, then everything can just work effectively. So we're not saying that for sure fascia is gonna help your colon, but we're saying something to think about when it comes to balancing out your fascia and your posture.